Hi booktube, I'm here with my response video for day two of uh, Canada Reads. Um, in case you don't know, it's a thing that's put on by the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, every year. Five books are defended by five uh, Canadian personalities, um, and each day there's a debate and a book is voted off until there's one book left over that everyone should um, they think everyone should read. Now, ideally, we should read all five of them. That's just the way I think it should be. All five of these books, all four out of five of the books, you'll know my you know my feelings about one of them. I should be read by all Canadians. Um, now I don't want to sound like a broken record again, so I'm just going to get off off the top. I really agreed a lot uh, with uh, Vignette Vermani, um, who said that. Yes, we should be talking about reconciliation. Yes, we should be talking about the missing and murdered Indigenous woman. Yes, we should be talking about Indigenous issues. But Birdie is not the book to do that. Um, just because it's topical does not mean that the book is right. So they talked a lot today about how these are fictional books and this is a competition about fictional books. Right? That's what it should be about. Um... And that's all I'm going to say on the issue. Um, a lot of the issues that were raised today were quite interesting. Uh, they had a lot to do with location and whether a book being set in a fictional land or a book being set in uh, another country should affect whether it should be a Canadian book. Um, and I think uh, most of the consensus was that um, the book can be set set wherever. Um, as long as it's universal, you know, as long as it's accessible and the themes and characters and the writing are all there. Um, sorry, I'm just going to look at my notes here because um, I was transcribing some things here. Um, should location be a concern? Adam Copeland said, geographically, it, a book set in Canada feels more Canadian. And, you know, obviously. Um, but that doesn't discount that books set in another location aren't as Canadian. Um, Vignet said, uh, you know, the immigrant experience is huge in Canada. And it's universal. And what um, his book does, The Hero's Walk does, it, is it kind of reverses that. Um, in that there's a young Canadian girl moving to India. So it kind of takes your stereotypical white Canadian and plants them, um, well I guess she wasn't white, um, but it, it plants them in another location to kind of show what it's like for immigrants and refugees coming to, um, to, uh, whatchamacallit, to Canada. And that was also supported by Farah Mohammed. Um, uh, Clara Hughes also supported that. She said Canada is a cornucopia. She said she's from Winnipeg and there's people of every race, religion, and creed there. And uh, that's my experience of Canada is that there's a whole bunch of different people from all over here. <laughs> it doesn't, you know, um, the book's written by a Canadian. It has a Canadian character in it. That's good enough for me, right? Uh, Bruce Poon Tip says books that aren't set in Canada uh, don't affect Canadians. Um, he's defending Birdie, so you know what I think about him. Um, and then uh, they talked about whether Birdie is accessible. Um, and Fair Muhammad, I agree with her. She says, no, you know, the it's not the story of most Indigenous women. It's very difficult to read and relate to, and it doesn't represent those women. Um, and Vignet, who, uh, I guess, I, it sounds, the way he talks, that he has a degree, uh, in English. I don't know for sure, because he's very intelligent when he speaks. He says, there's far too many devices in it. If you leave the topicality out and you talk about it as a work of fiction, it doesn't work. Um, and I think that was it. The book that left was Bone and Bread. I was... It's an okay book. Um, uh, the story was, was really good. It, the pacing was really good. The plot was really good. Um, the writing style was just average. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'm kind of upset that it's uh, hadn't beat out a few of the other ones that I didn't really like, but 
hopefully, hopefully the Heroes Walk will come out on top. Hopefully. Uh, so let me know what you thought about day two of Canada Reads, which book you hope should win, and thank you for watching.